Hey everyone, it's Wilston here. Today in our Apple Keynote tutorial, we're gonna go over how to make a timer, which is a very useful thing for teachers. So as usual, what you wanna do is just open Keynote. And today I'm gonna work with a black background because anything that's getting projected up on a screen, um, you're gonna wanna use black. And so delete these two text boxes. I'll zoom out to 50% so I can see everything that's going on. And the first thing you wanna do is create a text box. Let's make it size 100 so you can see what's going on. We'll keep the font at Helvetica New. I actually like the numbers of Helvetica New. So let's just say you wanna make a five minute timer. Put 05, put the colon, and that's what you need. After that, we'll go and duplicate, which is Command D, and it'll just make a copy of this. This will be our rotating number. And so when you start counting, down from one minute you need to start counting down from 59 so we'll make this 59 so what you want to do with this 59 number right here is you want it to build out and so you click on it make sure you don't have build in highlighted you have build out and the build that we are going to use for this effect is called cube and so you hit cube and you see that it goes from left to right because that's what it's set as you actually want it to go top to bottom and so click top to bottom you want to get rid of that bounce and on top of that it says right here one second you want that to be 0.5 seconds so in order to get a 58 which comes after 59 when you're counting down you're gonna to want to click on the 59 go command D to duplicate it make it 58 now it has a build out already because we duplicated 59 it does need a build in, which it doesn't have. So you click on build in, add an effect. Cube will go from top to bottom again. Get rid of that bounce. And also make this 0.5 seconds. Then you'll put the 58 directly over the 59. And then come down here to build order. Under build order, you're gonna wanna put the 58 build in before the build out because you have to build in before you build out. And you're gonna to wanna to highlight both of these 58s. Come down here to start and go after previous build. That way they will play continuously after the 59. And so if we go to preview, there you go. You see the 59, then the 58, and it takes exactly one second so now most of the hard work has been done. From here on out, it's pretty easy. You just click on the 58 and you go Command D to duplicate it. And you make that 58 a 57 and just slide it back on top. Hit Command D again, make that 57 a 56 and so on and so forth. Just hitting Command D every time to count down. We'll end this at let's just say 50 to give you a 10 second example. 54, 53, command D, 52, 51, and 50. So go over here to build order and you'll see by duplicating them, they're already exactly where they should be. And so let's go play and see what it looks like. So as you can see, that is how you make a timer. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate numbers 49, counting down all the way to double zero. And I'm just gonna speed it up so, you know, it goes a little bit faster. And if I hit play, this is also what it looks like, counting down and fast forward, just to show you that it works. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the left. We're gonna click on the slide and you can tell because it's highlighted in yellow. And we're gonna go Command D and duplicate that and make this slide four minutes. We're gonna repeat the same process. Command D and make this slide three minutes. Do it a few more times to make two minutes. Then one minute. Then finally double zero. 
and make sure each of these slides will play instead of on click over here under start transition, you want it to be automatically. And so that way, after five minutes, it will go to the next slide automatically without having to click to four, to three, to two, to one, and then again to zero. So the last thing that we're gonna need to do is after the very last minute counts down to the very last second, we're gonna need a noise. And so I have a noise already on deck. It's this I use here. So I have it on the desktop, I'm just gonna drag. drop it and this is what it sounds like and so what you need to do is uh, click on it and it already has a build in automatically called just start audio and all you need to do is just make sure in the build order that it's very last and you want it to go after build 117 which is the very last build which means once this counts down it'll make that loud noise and your timer will be complete so now you know how to make a cool timer in Keynote. And so if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave it a like and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on Friday.